<laughs> and I'm grateful and honored to be here tonight. On February 4th, 1992, just a rookie journalist, I awoke to news of a coup. As I prepared for work, my mother begged me to stay afraid for my safety. I held her, asked for her blessing, and said, I had to go because I am a journalist. <laughs> political changes and political violence have marked my life as a journalist. But 2017 was different. Reporters covered the protests wearing helmets, bulletproof vests, and gas masks. My young colleagues saw protesters they urged fall fighting for freedom. These young journalists have never known total freedom, yet they defend it through their work. One day, watching my son, a photojournalist, live dressed as if for work, I say, be careful, don't leave me without a son. So numbers we know, in 2018, 45 journalists around the world have been killing for their work. Other numbers we don't know. When a journalist is killed, how many more are silenced? When one is imprisoned, how many fall quiet? In Venezuela, journalism is an endangered species. 60% of the local press has disappeared. Newsrooms look like ghost towns. More than 1,000 journalists have emigrated or gone into the side. Uh, but we are stubborn. <laughs> Amid the darkness, Venezuela journalists find a way. I share this award with my team at the Feto Cocuyo, an independent. <laughs> an independent outlay create thanks to the genius, commitment, and tenacity of my colleagues, Laura Weffer and Josefina Ruggiero. <laughs> Young entrepreneurs, Carlos Aguiló and Jose Monagas, and a lead of faith by three journalists and students. Our young team commitment and talent reinforce our faith in this new generation. I dedicate this to those who help make our dear a reality, and to our relatives who support us through adversity. Thank you to my mother, Elba Rosa, my son, Ivan, and my husband, Dennis, who are my pillars. <laughs> Above all, thank you to my fellow Venezuelan journalists who resist despair while telling stories of a nation that refused to die. We persist, insist, and resist. We are optimistic, defending freedom and truth to the end, although some who had us believe all is lost. Facing oppression, our response is simple, to do more and better journalism. <laughs> Thank you to CPJ for this recognition, for putting the spotlight on Venezuela, and to all those as tonight who devote their lives to this profession. <laughs> and finally, I would like to say some words in Spanish. 
viva el periodismo venezolano.